So I made up a list of people to call, and I thought this morning Blake and I could divide it in half, you know, in each call of people. Oh, thank you. That's, that's nice. Did you, were you able to reach most of the family last night? Most of them, yeah. Uh, Chelsea's on a plane now, I think. Good. I... Couldn't get a hold of Rick, though. Oh, Ed. You need him. You... I don't know. It's probably maybe it's for the best, you know. No, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, it's just that certain people can see through you without even trying, you know. I mean, and Rick can just see and... He would take one look at me any hand. He would know that if I hadn't done something so miserable and indefensible, Maureen would still... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're not dealing with cause and effect here. On the other hand, I can't exactly say I had nothing to do with it, can I? I try to imagine how much you must hate me. You and I have known each other a long time. A long time. And you knew me when I was... I was very selfish and very confused. And you never throw that up at me, do you? But the difference is you never killed anyone. Ed. Ed, you didn't kill anyone. <sighs> you remembered... Martha Wells, see, I... Sure. I would have forgotten how close that she and Maureen were at yeah. the hospital. I'd... She doesn't live here anymore, though. She... she lives in Pennsylvania. Her daughter, however, lives here. Okay, I'll reach her. <clears throat> and I don't know how to get a hold of Bridget. I mean, she's on that, that, that class trip. Oh, well, what's the name of her professor? Do you remember? I don't know. Maureen knows I don't know. Okay. Well, that's not a problem. I'll, I'll uh, call the university, reach the department head. That'll be simple. Don't worry. I stopped raining. Yeah. So she tell you about her dream? Huh? What dream? When I was up the cabin, Maureen told me that she'd been having a lot of trouble sleeping well, and she'd she'd had this dream where she was up on a on a roof, and it was wet and slippery, and she started sliding and falling because there was no one to hold on to. And I keep thinking about the damn car sliding on the road and going... Ed, I'm sorry, but just don't do this to yourself now. Just don't do it, okay? Okay, what time we got? We got time for you to take a shower and change, and I'm going to call Blake, and I'm going to have her bring Michelle over here. Is that okay? If you know that if you hadn't come over here, I'd still be sitting in the chair. You loved her so much better than I did. <laughs> 